too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the whole video like this, yeah? No. Okay. <laughs> hi there. Um, hi. So I know. Why does that look so strange? Oh my god. Not supposed to see that yet. Um, hi. I know it's been a while since we saw each other last, but I'm back. I was handling my life, but now I'm back, and I'm back with a haul. You guys, I got so much stuff. I'm so much stuff, so that I'm dropping. So um, I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, like for more haul videos, comment. Um, and subscribe up there or down there or right there. Okay, uh, you guys get it. Um, anyway, let's start with skin stuff that I got. So, first thing that I got was this Olay Fresh Effects um, exfoliating wash. And wow, okay, that's better. Um, mind you, I haven't been trying, I haven't been using this stuff for a while so you probably won't see reviews until maybe a week or two from now so but know that it will happen so I got this and I also got this um, toner from Neutrogena the thing is I had there we go I had never used a toner before so it was really I was like do I put it in my hand and you know like you know aftershave or something no i actually saw a video so then i got these these um uh pads that you like you put it on on the pad not like this you put it on the pad and then you like wipe it across your face and it's supposed to like you know i don't even i don't even remember what it does i just remember that someone told me that i should be using one. Oh, it restores the balance of your face is what I is what I heard that it does. So I decided to try it. I have really sensitive skin, so I'm a little weary about what I put on it. But this is this this works fine for me for my sensitive skin. And um, I haven't seen a huge difference. I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. You know, for the outside of my face, I don't know. Um, but it smells good, so. You know, I can't hurt unless my face falls off, and then I guess I can't hurt. Anyway, and for a moisturizer, I got this, um, the CVS, um, moisturizer, and it's this vitamin E moisturizing cream, and I walked right past it because it says cream. It doesn't say facial moisturizer, so I was like, you know, you're not supposed to put, you know, body lotion on your face. So I wasn't going to get it until it said apply to face. And I was like, oh, so I can use this on my face. You just, you didn't put it on the front. So, but I read the back and it's got a whole bunch of nice, good ingredients. Um, vitamin A, coconut butter, not coconut butter, <laughs> cocoa butter. Uh, where'd it go? There's a, lot, there's a lot of vitamins in this for your skin, which is good. I'm guessing. I'm hoping. If my face falls off, then we all know why. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it for skin. I really just wanted the basic. Oh, no, that's not it for skin. I, oh, <laughs> I also got this um, facial anti-stress uh, Dead Sea Mineral Mask, which has this really cool packaging that I like and it caught my eye, so that's why I got it. Um, but it's really nice. I've only used it once. It smells like heaven. If heaven has a smell, I'm pretty sure this is what it smells like. So, I got all of this from CVS, in case you guys were wondering. And, um, like I said, I will have reviews up soon. But this is just a haul, so... And I haven't been using this very long, so I can't tell you how wonderful it is just yet. So now we're going to go on to hair. And I only got pretty much one thing for my hair because I've only been using conditioner and olive oil on my hair lately, so there's nothing really new for me, oh my god, there's nothing really new for me to report about my hair, but I did get one product that I've been wanting to try forever, and they had it on sale, 
two for the price of one, and it is the It's a 10 um, Miracle Leave-In product. And I freaking love this stuff. I've only used it once, and I already freaking love it. I can't wait to give you guys a review on this. I hate that the bottles are so small. They have a bigger bottle, but it's like $40. I was like, no. This together was $20. I can deal with $20. You can't do $40. You can't. I am balling on a budget, you guys. Don't understand. Okay. Moving on to makeup. Makeup wise, I went a little crazy. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. This might be a really long video, in case you guys were wondering. So, first, starting off with something I'm very excited about, the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Pigment Thingies, eyeshadows. And I got, um, I got, I have, oh, oh yeah, okay, so I got five. I got one of the cream shadows, and then the rest of the four are the pigments. So one's a cream and one's like a powder, Ish kind of. And I got the, um, uh oh, wait. No. Oh. No. I got five of the pigments and one of the green. So I got the gold, the gold, um, the bronze, uh, the electric blue, and the more uh, teal kind of blue, and then I got the pink. There's like 10 shades, but I just got these five because they caught my eye. And the cream is actually, I think this is a bronze as well. Oh no, it's like a light, like a really light pink, like a pink you can't even tell is pink. I don't even think this is pink. I'm just gonna call it like bronze pink, whatever. Um, so I got these, I can't wait to show. Actually, I'm wearing the pink, the pigment pink uh, right now. I don't know if you guys can actually see my eye makeup. Hello. And I am wearing lashes for the first time, you guys. So this is, that's the pink, if you can see it. I don't know if you can. Um, and my lashes are from e.l.f. First time putting on lashes, you guys, it was terrible. It was like stuck to my face. <laughs> it was bad. I, I'm getting the hang of it now, but it was, that first time was bad. Um, okay, so those, I got those. And I also got uh, four eyeshadows from CoverGirl. I didn't know CoverGirl made eyeshadows. Well, I, I assumed they did, but I've never seen them before. And they're really similar to the Maybelline pigment ones. So I got this one that's broken. So I got like 10% off. Uh, it's like a, a burgundy. I want to say it's pink, but it's kind of not pink. It's more of a burgundy. And I got this lime green that I'm really excited to try. I've never been much of a green girl, but there's so much I can use it for. Um, and I got this one. I'm not sure what to call that. It looks like a blue on camera, but it's actually a little bit paler than that. I think it's like a pale green. And I got this light brown that's really pretty and I like it. So I got four of those shadows. So, trying these soon. You know what this means? This means more makeup tutorials for you guys because now I have more colors. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, last two um, pots of eyeshadow. And these are both blues. I'm not sure why I got so many blues. But um, these are both blues and they're from L'Oreal. And you see those right there? You see how one is kind of, well, I guess, yeah, one's kind of brighter than the other. One's kind of a dusty blue, one's kind of a light blue. So, these are from L'Oreal. I didn't know they made shadows either. I really gotta get out more, you guys. <laughs> and um, this, the makeup, I got from Target and Walmart. Yes. I don't remember exactly which products I got from Walmart and Target, but collectively the makeup was from Target and Walmart. Did you guys see what I did there? The, the, yeah, no, okay. Um, oh, okay, last of the eyeshadow, I promise. I got these Maybelline eyes. Did I? Guys, I think I got two of the same one. Oh, wait, no, wait. No, they're a little different. 
I don't know if you guys can tell. These look identical, don't they? Well, they're not. This one is lighter than this one. And I was so upset right now because I thought I got two of the same one, but I guess I didn't. Whatever. More eyeshadow for me. Um, so I got this one, which is like a purpley that I'm excited about, and then I got these two. I've never been much of a purple person either, but I'm excited to try this. So I got these three, and if I like them, I'll be going back for more. But we'll see. Um, that's it for eyeshadow.